<laughs> okay, so we continue with limit and infinity. So we are dealing with limit for a function where x approaches infinity. Okay, when x approaches infinity. So how do we calculate? Okay, so we look at here first. The operation of infinity and infinity. So when we have infinity plus infinity, infinity, okay. So if you minus, there will be IDF. A big numbers minus with your big numbers, you cannot define anything. We cannot define anything whether it is remaining is infinity or zero. Yeah. So hasil dollar adalah IDF. Kalau nak dollar, a constant time with infinity, you get infinity. Or your infinity square cube to the power of anything, your infinity power to anything is still remaining answer of infinity. So if division, infinity divided by infinity, it will be IDF. But infinity divided a number, it will get infinity. A number divided infinity is zero. Okay? Banyak banyak sama banyak 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 banyak. Nak hasil ganda ke, nak hasil darab ke, berapa gandaan tu akan banyak banyak juga. So contohnya ini banyak banyak nak bahagi berapa orang, nak berapa bahagi berapa number, so you still will get the value in infinity. But like a value divided by infinity, like one divided of many. Saya nak bagi satu sen kepada semua account kamu. Rasanya account kamu antu tu ya. Masalah aku masih zero zero lah, betul. So when a number divided by a huge infinity here, so your approximation is zero. Ah, kita punya pengiraan tu ada kosong. Tak apa apa pun lah, okay? So this is our calculation on our infinity. When we dealing with limit of infinity, when we dealing of limit of infinity, we can ah buat macam biasa kita substitute infinity tu kita kira tengok dapat ke tak tengok dapat ke tak macam ni tengok dapat ke tak kalau tak dapat kalau kita dapat bentuk IDF barulah kita buat factorization ataupun divide by the highest power of the x so like this you can see when you substitute your infinity here when you substitute your infinity here it will be infinity minus infinity it will be IDF so tak boleh nak kira. So keadaan tak boleh nak kira. Ha, kamu boleh factorize out the highest power ni. Ataupun bahagi the highest power ni. Dah bahagi. So kamu boleh dapat lah. So infinity darab. This is 1 over infinity 0. 8 over infinity also 0. So it will be infinity times 2. Get you infinity. Normally uh, our, our function involving rational. They will divide by the highest power of x. So let's say in this rational function, the highest power of x is x power 4. So for each term of it, we will divide by x power 4. Then we simplify this function, you get 2 minus 1 over x squared. So when you substitute infinity, this is 0. A value divided by infinity, it will be 0. So a value divided by infinity, it will be 0. So you can get your answer. 2 over negative 5. Alright. So our our operation of limit at infinity buat macam biasa saja. Boleh substitute, kira, kan kira. Kalau tak boleh, kita buat divide higher. Divide by the highest power of the x. Okay. So Okay. So before this, when we do our one-sided limit, Sebelum ini, kita buat one-sided limit, kita dapat jawapan infinity, betul? Ha, kita dapat jawapan infinity. Kalau positive infinity, bermaksud graf tu akan halal ke atas. Kalau jawapan kamu positive infinity, bermaksud grafing kamu ke atas. Okay? Kalau jawapan kamu infinity, maksudnya grafing dia ke atas. Kalau jawapan kamu negative infinity, maksudnya grafing tu akan ke bawah. Ke bawah. But this one is one-sided limit. Okay? This is one-sided limit. So when you have limit, uh, approach, x approaches negative infinity bermaksud x ni pergi sebahagian kiri yang boleh. Pergi sebahagian yang kiri yang boleh, bila kamu substitute, it will be 1 over infinity, right? So it will get you 0. So bermaksud apa? Kalau dalam graphing ialah bila x menghampiri belah kiri ini, negative infinity tu maksudnya semakin ke kiri, 
draft kamu akan menghampiri nilai kosong. So, semakin hampir ke kiri, dia akan menghampiri kosong. Ha, ini asin tu kamu, menghampiri kosong. Dekat near to the axis here. Alright. So, when your limit for x approaches positive infinity, when you substitute in, it will be infinity. Infinity square infinity lah. So, 1 over infinity is 0. So, what's mean by this? When your x approaches positive infinity, positive side, belah kanan. When you go near approaches, your graph will be approaches here. Pergi semakin tegak kepada nilai kosong. Okay. So, that means limit at infinity. Uh, untuk tengok belah kiri dengan belah kanan. Hujung-hujung belah kiri, hujung-hujung belah kanan. Apakah nilai dia? Okay, so we look at our example. So like for example A, 14A here. Limit X approaches infinity, positive infinity. 2X plus 1, plus 1 minus 7X, and then 3X plus 4. So our first attention will be Cuba substitute infinity. Cuba substitute infinity. Is it IDF? Is it IDF? When you substitute infinity here, this is 2 over infinity. It is alright. It is 0. But this one will be infinity over infinity. So when we meet our situation of IDF, what do we do? In the case of IDF, what do we do? We will divide by the highest power of this x. The, the highest power of this rational function. The highest power that we can see here is x. So, we have to simplify our function first before we go going to evaluate our limit. So this one will divide by x, the highest power of the polynomial here is x. Simplify your function. Okay, so after we simplify our function, we can evaluate our limit at infinity here. When x approaches infinity. So when you substitute, it will be 2 over infinity plus 1 over infinity minus 7. Then 3 plus 4 over infinity. So a number divided by an infinity, zero. it will be 0. So 0 minus 7. Negative 7, then 3 plus 0. So figure out this conclusion. This will give you negative 7 over 3. So inilah cara nak buat limit infinity. Limit x ke infinity.